Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be talking about Azure Monitoring Sample Architecture. So let's get into the video. So let's go ahead and deploy these resources one by one. So first I'll be creating two virtual machine or before that let me quickly create a log analytics workspace. So I'm going into all services. Going into log analytics workspace over here. So let's say I have created a resource group with the name RG. Here I'm going to give a name. Let's say my test for log analytics new. This name has to be unique, guys. So I've just given this particular name. This I'll be creating in East US region. Simultaneously, I will be just opening another portal so that we can create other services as well. By the time your log analytics workspace is getting created over here. So I'm going into that VM section. And I'll be creating two virtual machines. And there are two on top of the same network that we have. So here you can select RG. Here you can have a, let's say VM1. That two in the East US location. Going with T2S V3 configuration. I'm not enabling any monitoring at the moment. This I will enable one by one, okay? I'm just creating a virtual machine over here. Not enabling any logs over here, not even boot diagnostic, nothing. I'll just keep it disabled. This we will enable in a few seconds. And here I'll be again selecting that resource group RG. Here I'm going to give a name, let's say VM2. This I'll be creating in the same network, guys, where the VM1 is getting deployed over here. Because we also need to discuss the network watch service. So for that, I required some resources. So this will also going to do the needful over here. Yeah, the same network that is RGVNet. We are creating this over here, no problem. Okay, guys, so your log analytics workspace is available. Now I'm going inside the log analytics workspace. Now, guys, what you can see over here that if I go into the log analytics workspace, we have an option called workspace data sources. If you click on the VM, you will be able to see your VM listed over here, right? So soon you will be able to see your VM2, which is getting created at the okay, guys, VM2 is also ready. So hopefully I'll be able to see VM2 listed over here as well now. Let me refresh. You can see guys, VM1 and VM2 both are available. Now, the moment you are trying to create connectivity between VM1 and VM2, right? What it does, it deploy MMA, Microsoft Monitoring Agent on both the machines. So I'm creating the connectivity. It will take few seconds. And if I go into the VM section, you can see this deployment happening through the extension section itself. So you can go into the VM section, you can go into the extension over here, and you will find that that particular deployment is happening. You can see MMA Microsoft Monitoring Agent getting deployed over here, started showing unavailable. Now it will have started showing in the transition state in some second over here. And then once this will be done, you will see provisioning successful over here. This is happening on both the machines.
okay now this particular agent for your on premises resources you have to download and that you have to integrate that so if i go into the extension again on the another machine this should have been provisioned as well let me see still in the deployment okay guys this will take a while so going back to the log analytics now i will also create a storage account as well because some data can be sent to the storage account through other agents so for that i'll be creating a storage account and i will create an application inside and also i will download this mma on the on premises resource so i will use my laptop as an on premises resource and i will download that particular agent and i will install it on my machine then so I'm going into RG over here. I'm creating one storage account as well. And I'm creating an application inside as well, guys. Just give me one minute. For the web application monitoring. So I'll just go into the application inside. So here I'm going to give a name my test for app insight new. This I'll be creating an East US option over here. And guys, you can see it is asking about the log analytics workspace. So the log analytics workspace that I have created, I will be able to select that from the drop down. For some reason, it is not reflecting over here. Let me see, guys, if it was started reflecting again. Okay, guys, there could have been the delay as well. Let me quickly take the access to my lab machine. So anything which is not reflecting over here, I'll just try to, you know, see that particular option from East US VM itself because it takes some time, you know, for some reason it is taking time to update the portal because of maybe the latency happening over there because, you know, the location is far away from my location. So I'm just taking the assistance of the machine that I have created in East US. Because probably that particular change is reflecting slightly quicker in that particular VM. So I'll just keep it as an option over there. Okay. Let me check for the application inside on this. If it is started reflecting the log analytics workspace that we have already created because I don't want to create multiple log analytics workspace. So I'll just select RG. Let me see the drop down. You can see guys this log analytics workspace is reflecting. My test for new app inside over here. Location I'll be keeping it East US. And guys you can see both are in the same subscription but it can be in the different as well. So hardly matters. As far as the location is same, you will not have any additional cost to that. But you can have the different location as well. There is no such foundation over here. So you can see guys, your application inside is connected with your log analytics. Okay. Now we'll talk about application inside in a while. Because most of the things of the application inside we already talked about when we were discussing about the web application. Now I'm going to enable some more agents because those are going to take some time to deploy. So by the time we will be having a discussion on the log analytics, those agents will be deployed over here. So if I go into the extension section, you can see your log analytics workspace agent that is your MMA is now been provisioned successfully. Now what are the other agents that I can enable? I do have an insight agent. Now the name of this particular agent is your dependency agent. You can enable it. If your log analytics workspace is not connected with the VM, it will ask you to connect. For me, it is already connected. So the moment I will enable this, it will directly get enabled. It is not asking about any log analytics workspace. Okay. So there will be a dependency agent getting deployed. 
there is another option available diagnostic setting agent where you can provide your storage account remember this storage account we have created this will help you capturing your guest level monitoring logs over here so you can enable that as well this is your diagnostic or inside dependency agent will be implemented okay so there are two more agent which are getting implemented over here so meanwhile this is happening we just have to wait for a few seconds similarly i'll be enabling these two agent for the vm2 as well so just in case if there will be any delay on a vm1 we can have it on other machine as well and let me see guys what happened to the log analytics workspace agent yeah you can see guys these two agents are getting deployed yeah i'm going to leave this process running guys okay now i'm going back to the log analytics workspace over here and inside that particular log analytics workspace what i will do i will download that particular agent called mma microsoft monitoring agent and guys it can have the information associated with your devops vm right that is a vm right so this is a similar option guys i mean if you have an on premises machine or i can use my machine as well for the same so let me use my machine guys because my machine is a physical machine so we can have that agent but before that let me quickly check whether i have that agent already available or not no guys that mma is not there so i'm okay to install that particular agent so going back to the log analytics the way i have created the connectivity from two vms i can create connectivity through agents on my machine so for that you have to go into the option which option guys agent management option over here and here it will give you the option for windows agent 64 bit and 32 bit that you have if you are using your linux server you do have an option for that as well you can download this particular agent on your linux machine as well so currently i am using windows machine so i'm going to download this particular agent the moment you will going to run this particular agent right it will ask you about the workspace id that which particular log analytics workspace that this agent need to send that information so it can be any log analytics workspace how it will identify with the help of your workspace id and how you will be able to send them securely you have to pass this particular key for that and then it will give you the option whether you would like to capture oms logs or scom logs that is your system center operation manager logs over here so it will take few seconds over here guys yeah this is that is available the moment i'll click on next i'll click on i agree next over here see guys it is giving you both the option oms logs and your scom log system center operation manager logs over here right and what we have talked about that your system center operation manager logs can have your ad logs windows server update service logs and sscm logs that you can have so if your machine is domain joined and if you have that particular requirement over here you have this option available over here that you can configure them and you can import that your ad logs windows server update service logs and your system center configuration manager logs but guys my machine is not domain joined so i will not be going with scom logs i'm going with the oms logs over here i'm going to click on next now now here you will be providing your workspace id and your primary key over here so going to copy the workspace id first now going to copy the primary key over here and i will be doing the installation of this particular agent and this is how your log analytics workspace get the information of your on premises resource over here so this will take few seconds now guys what happen when you configure the agent now you have to tell the agent that what kind of the data it should be bringing right now if you have checked scom logs you can directly import your ad logs and your windows server update service logs and your sscm logs but let's say if you need to capture any cpu related information any performance counters associated with that how you will be able to instruct your agent to bring that information right so your log analytics is a centralized place through which you can target the agent for multiple resources so that you can enable so we just need to wait for a few seconds by the time this is getting configured over here this is done you can click on finish now here 
whenever you are going into your log analytics workspace in your agent configuration now that's where you can set up that information let's say for windows agent you can mention i required error logs warning logs information log and for which particular service i'm looking for that particular log you can target from here and you can set the frequency as well so you can go into the performance counter and you can mention that how frequently you will be looking for that particular information so you can mention i look for looking for that information let's say for every 120 second or every 200 seconds so that is something that you will be able to pass similarly you can have your linux performance counter as well that you can set it up over here click this and you can mention what exactly you would like to capture emergency alert central error warning notice info debug any sort of the information that you will be able to capture from here as well so here you have to set the frequency and you have to tell your agent that what information that you would like to capture in your log analytics workspace now let's assume you have the data now this is the time that you would like to query that particular data so how you can go ahead and do the query over here so here you have the option available for the logs where you will be able to do your custo query on top of it so you can go into the log section that is the option available guys over here right that you will be able to write your own queries as well now here guys you will be able to concentrate from where you have to bring that from rows and column format right so here you can target from where you will be looking for that information or you can also target the queries and the service as well let's say i'm looking for vm related information so you can target vm related queries as well you can form your own queries or you can also use microsoft created queries as well right but in case if you want to go granular and you would like to have your own query for that you have to learn the language called custo query language so this is your track your vm availability i'm just going to run this particular query and you will be able to see the availability of your resources which are sending the data to your log analytics workspace at the moment and this is for the availability only so you can see i'm seeing the data for vm and vm2 but my machine data is still pending and what is the name of my machine guys let's quickly see i can go into the this pc and i can go into the properties and you will be able to see that particular machine data so my machine name is pta right so soon you will be able to see the availability information for this particular machine as well in your log analytics workspace that will take some time and it will have that information available you can see guys now it is showing the pta information as well okay guys so these are a bunch of the option guys that you can utilize for the log analytics you want to bring any third party agent for an example right now probably you would like to run a query but that library is not available and you want to bring that particular library from the marketplace as well that option is also available guys that you can get into this option of the workspace summary and you will be able to add that particular information from the marketplace as well let's say i would like to run a query for the update compliance right so that particular information you will be able to bring it from your marketplace as well yeah so this is how guys that you will be able to interact with the marketplace just in case if you have certain requirement available over here you can directly integrate to the log analytics you can click on create and that will do the job if in case you need to do the query so guys i hope you really liked our session and if you have any kinds of doubts you can please comment down below and our team will reach out to you and do not forget to give us a thumbs up and if you are really intrigued by the kind of terms used and you want to learn more about it, then we have something really, really special for you. We have this free class on Microsoft Azure Solutions Architect certification that is AZ305. And if you want to learn more about it, then you just have to log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure SA02. In this session, in this free class, you'll be learning about why you should be learning Azure Cloud, your paths to learn Azure Solution Architect Expert Certification. You'll be getting to know a difference between AZ303, AZ304, AZ305, and a lot many insightful things. So if you want to do this, then we all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure SA02. 
After that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. Just click on book your free seat now and select your availability according to the event date mentioned. Add your name, add your phone number, add your email, and every detail will be converged to you via our mail. And after that, just proceed ahead. On the extreme light, you'll be seeing this kind of link. So just copy this link, save it to your calendars, and I will see you in the next class. Till then, take care and keep hustling.